Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning. And I don't know about you guys, but you was pretty busy. Okay, so last couple of days I've been uh, actually catching up on your comments as well. But I, I know some of you out there. So we have some failed experiment, uh, experiment uh, over the weekend. So rocket didn't work out. Okay, so due to uh, shipping damage, uh, that comes to brute function wasn't working properly. So steam was working fine, hot water was fine, but unfortunately the steam, uh, the brew function was uh, working properly. So uh, I contacted Joe from Espresso Outlet and then he was planning on sending us another machine. Not the, okay, so here's the thing. I need your help with this one, okay? I need your input. So I'm gonna wait about a little bit, okay? I'm gonna wait about, you know, another few more minutes. We have enough people out there uh, joining us the, uh, our live streaming and then I'm going to ask you which motion you guys want to see okay so let's do that but before uh, let's make some coffee and then uh, by the way if you are new to the channel welcome to our daily live streaming uh, we go daily pretty much we go daily okay and uh, unless something happens and uh, we try to go around eight o'clock kind of mountain standard time so we are in Arizona so we don't change our time so it's by eight o'clock every single morning uh, we go live and then obviously it's unscripted. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to talk about every single day because, you know, we do seven days a week. So, but we're trying to do something fun. Okay. Every, every single time. So, uh, so this morning, uh, let's make some coffee. Let's wait a little bit. And then I'm going to ask you guys, you know, your input and then go from there. Okay. Hold on. Let's see here. So by the way, so I'm looking at, the, uh, so I'm looking at your chat conversation so just make sure let me know okay let me know uh, after this yeah so it's gonna be a lot of fun so let's make some coffee okay so I have so this Guatemala coffee beans we roasted about what three weeks wait, about a week a week and a half ago okay so now is the prime to drink so this is really good uh, let's use the you know what let's use the F64 this morning okay so let's do the DF64 and uh, I know a lot of people are asking me about the grinder settings all the time. Man, that is the most difficult question to answer. So it's a little tough, but uh, I know some of you are having a struggle with the grinder settings. So I know some of you are already reached out to me on Instagram as well. But the, the fact is you just have to play with it. Okay, there's no shortcut. There's no magic number to I can say, hey, make sure you go change to number eight. Okay, and the universe size number six or seven or whatever, but there's no magical number for that. So unfortunately, that's something you have to play with. But uh, I'm gonna help you guys best I can. Okay, so let's uh, grind some coffee beans. So I'm gonna be using my uh, cup from uh, Fellow. It's called Joy Cup. Looks really nice though. By the way, the DF64 works pretty good. It does work. I mean, if you are looking for a very affordable espresso grinder, make sure to uh, check out uh, DF64. Uh, so this one I got from uh, Espresso Outlet. Joe was nice enough to send me one to try it out in our channel, so yeah. But I think, uh, I think uh, Espresso Outlet is one of few the wholesalers uh, in the USA. So it's on the uh, uh, Terrain um, brand, but they have a couple of different names as well. So works pretty good. Okay, it does work. Okay. So let's make, you know what, let's make uh, like small, like small milk based drink. Okay, it could be latte, it could be cappuccino. All depend on the, you know, all depend on the how. Wait, I'm gonna steam the milk. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm using the just spouted. So I'm just gonna. And what about use like bottomless? I like to I use the like WDT tool, but spouted ones. I'm okay with just you know not doing it. Okay. I'm just hold on. I'm just gonna heat up my cup first. Okay, here I go. Okay, I usually uh, weight my shot, but unfortunately, 
the scare is to, you know what, it might work, okay? It might work. Hold on. I'm just going to, it's going to be start the time when Uh, when a uh, first drop hits, okay. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do manual mode here. I'm gonna hold on about five seconds before I'm gonna let it go. I like to do the pre infusion manually. I'm gonna wait about five seconds and then let go. They automatically keep track of time there. I'm going to stop in around 40 gram. Okay, so about 17 seconds, I hold about about five or six seconds. So you're looking at around like 20, maybe 20, 20 seconds, maybe 22 seconds at the most. Okay. I mean, overall, shot looks pretty good. Okay. Very thick crema. So let's make some uh, latte. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up my steam one. So that's the one downside of our uh, Bravo machines. You gotta wait a little bit, okay? With a rocket or one of those high-end machines, is an instant. So right now I'm introducing the air to the milk. That's where you guys hear that the hissing sound. And they wait about what five to second seconds, and after that I'm gonna submerge it. Okay. And then I'm gonna create that nice tornado move there. So make sure circulate or uh, circulate and. Now we are steaming the milk and nice and hot. Again, there's no shortcut for getting out the perfectly textured milk, unfortunately. That's something you have to practice. So milk is pretty much ready, okay? Usually it takes about what, a minute or so. Okay, and after that, just make sure wipe it clean with a like wet paper towel. Okay. Let's do some latte art, guys. All right. Do some latte art here. Okay, so this cup is not ideal for latte, but let's take a look. Nope, it's, uh, this, the opening is too tight. So, I mean, overall it looks pretty good. But again, unless you're a professional barista, I know you guys are out there, doesn't matter what kind of cups you guys are using, you're gonna do just fine, but the beginners like me, yeah. But you know what, let's try this. Anyway, okay, let's try this. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. So after this, uh, I'm going to ask you guys your input. Okay, it'd be a lot of fun. Cheers. Nice, good. I mean, I do love the like South America uh, beans because they're very chocolatey, nutty, and earthy. I mean, if you guys like that really good coffee flavor, you know, I mean, Guatemala, Colombia, even Nicaragua, I mean, they're really good. Okay, I'm trying to easy on the caramel syrup, so I'm not gonna use that this morning. All right, so again, uh, over the weekend, unfortunately the rocket apartment didn't work out because of shipping damage. But we have about 40 of you out there, just make sure you press like on the video right now. And then I'm gonna ask you guys uh, right this moment, 
hey, you guys want to see another rocket? Or you guys want to see another coffee machine? So uh, talking to Joe last night, he said he's willing to send us dual boiler machine. Okay, so, so here's a question. You guys want to see the rockets or a uh, dual boiler? Okay, some kind of dual boiler machine. So uh, let me know on the comment section, okay? I I'm looking at your comments right now. So yeah, let me know. I'm going to kind of like live pour here. And then, so, yep, uh, let's see, we have the Quick Mirror, Bertrano, Bianca, okay. Okay, we got a couple people wants to see Bianca. Okay, we got Richard Sale, Dual Boiler, okay. So nobody wants to see rockets. I know, I know people out there are looking forward to see it, but anyway. Lillette, Elizabeth, okay, perfect. This but I, I don't know which dual boiler though, but it's gonna be dual boiler. Okay, hold on a second. I got R58 from Hans. Hold on, we got, uh, let's go for Rocket. Bianca after, okay. Dual boiler. Hold on. I'm going to, hold on a second here. I went, we are really low tech as we get here. Okay, so we have our mini, nope, not Synchronica. Rocket with the PID. All right, hold on. Eagle One. Okay, Quick Meal. Okay. Let's see. Man, so far overwhelmingly, uh, nobody, you know, not a lot of people wants to see the rockets. Uh, Apartmental. Bozera, Eagle One. Okay, that's surprising. We got 50, uh, 58 of you, 5960. Okay, we got Rob say any dual boiler. We got R9. John Ferris say rocket. Uh, John, which rocket? Are you, are you still want to see the rocket apartmental or something else? Okay, so far, apartmental. Okay, we got apartmental. Put on them. <laughs> Kelly say. Man, we got the R9, GS3. Okay, so John say uh, Rocket Apartmental. It's only a handful of people wants to see the Rocket Apartmental. Acacia, Dual PID. Okay, hold on, Rocket Apartmental. We got uh, about four people wants to see the Rocket. Okay, anything new? Okay, anything new, that's fine. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so seems like to me, okay. Okay, seems like to me is about 62 of you out there. Uh, goodness, you got the Murai X. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tell uh, Joe, okay. I'm gonna tell Joe uh, from Espresso Outlet. By the way, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe. He's the one uh, loaning us the machine, okay. I'm not buying this machine. Uh, Joe was nice enough to be sent us to try it out in our channel. So yeah, uh, so yeah, so well, hold on a second. Marvin said little let Bianca as well. So yeah, so I'm gonna tell him to send us any dual boiler, okay? I'm gonna, because I cannot be picky, okay? I cannot be picky because he's loaning us the machine. So I'm gonna tell him, uh, so dual boiler with PID, okay? So that's what I'm gonna, so that dual boiler, PID, and rotary pump. So that's the only requirement. For this one so yeah uh, so again so so let's do that okay so I'm gonna have him send us a dual boiler PID and Rory pump I'm gonna have him send us sometime uh, hopefully this week okay uh, I need to send it back the rocket apartment I thought okay I thought uh, you guys might want to see the rocket but yeah I'm very surprising the result okay so it's about 70 of you watching so yeah so it's gonna be dual boiler because, you know, because I, mean, I don't want to touch base with you guys because, I mean, since this is it's our channel, okay? I know you guys are the ones supporting this channel, so yeah. All right, so I know this is, a, so this one was the idea from, uh, uh, let's see, Anders from Denmark, okay? The Anders, uh, yesterday, he said, uh, you know, he, he'd write a comment about, uh, I know some of you out there wants to, check out the rocket apartment that's why i'm asking you this morning
because you guys are the one uh, looking at the looking at our video so yeah so anyway so that's what we're gonna do uh, yeah I know some people say R58 so so mo most likely it's gonna be a uh, dual boiler with PID and then hopefully try out the uh, hopefully a rotary pump and then we're gonna try it out for maybe a few weeks okay and then we are going to send it back and then maybe try out another machine from Espresso Outlet. And then so maybe keep going on it and then until we are going to find the right machine for our channel, okay, for the kip. So, so far we raised pretty much like seven, almost $800 now, guys, thanks to you guys. Yeah, so it's been great, okay, you guys have been uh, supporting the channel. So yeah, we got about 66 of you watching, good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let him know uh, we're going to go moving forward with uh, a dual boiler. Okay. Marshall mentioned interesting to see compare a dual boiler to an apartment. Yes, it'd be great. Okay. I mean, there's a lot because a rocket apartment is an extremely popular machine. I mean, it is really, really popular. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Let's see here. Like uh, someone wants to, uh, actually CY has quite a few machines in Singapore as well. So anyway, uh, comes to like, I mean, that's another reason. I mean, I do want to compare that with our entry level machine like Bravo Boost Express or Bravo Boost Pro. Because again, is a rocket apartment a beautiful machine? Yes, it is a beautiful machine. But uh, comes to functionality, little lack of it okay there's no PID but the E61 group had does an amazing job the managing the control there so so I mean that's really really good machine but as you saw last few days uh, we play with it but yeah you know what I don't know I, I so let me know in the comment section as well okay but seems like to me you guys want to see the dual boiler okay so yeah so let's do that but, but uh, I mean, if you guys really, really want to see apartment, uh, let me know in the comment section as well, okay? Because Joe is willing to send us pretty much any machine he has. Not any machine, okay? So far, he's okay with the rocket apartment. He's going to... Uh, we tried that already. I know you was fail uh, live session, but uh, he's going to send us another machine uh, sometime this week. It's going to be dual boiler, okay? And PID. And uh, let's see here. Again, so there's a handful of wonderful machine. You got ECM's good. You got you got the Perfect Tech. Obviously, you got the Lillet is really, and uh, Lillet is also fantastic as well. And uh, they got quite a few. Bazera is great. I know Marshall loves so he's a Bazera. So yeah, I mean there's great great machine. If you guys are willing to spend money on it, and uh, let's see here. And uh, the, uh, Aaron mentioned about the, what's the most expensive one he has or. Uh, can send. Uh, you know what? The fact is, he had to run a business because if once he send it, you know he cannot sell as the new. Okay, that's the problem with uh, send us the you know no new machine. So I mean, he is being really really nice. Okay, I mean he is just he's a, he, he's a really nice guy. So make sure check out his uh, uh, his website. Okay, Espresso Alley. I'm gonna put the link down below. I mean, that's, you know, another way to support this channel indirectly, okay? Because not a lot of retailers, I know a lot of retailers like that. They're willing to send us the machine to, like, play with. I mean, our channel is not, it's, it's a pretty small channel, okay? I know you guys are watching, you know, but this is a really small channel, so if someone wants to take a risk on our channel, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I, I really, that's really nice. It's really nice of him. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, by the way, there's a couple ways to support this channel by, you know, buying from my Amazon link on the description section there. That's also help us out. And also, whenever you buy Fella Coffee products, because I do have a code underneath as well on the description section. So make sure you use the code, okay? You guys are going to get a 10% off. I got a little referral fee. So it's going to be, you know, help us out, both of us. Okay, uh, let's see here. Marshall said he's going to visit uh, Espresso Outlet. I mean, his price is very, very competitive. Okay. It's not bad, actually. You know, price is really good. So, 
and also it's, it's like you know owned by you know Joe he's the kind of like I don't want to say one man show but family guy is excellent okay so let's see here I'm looking at your questions right now so by the way so coming week I don't know when we're gonna get the coffee machine but let's see uh, we're gonna do the I don't want to do unboxing uh, this time for this new machine okay so I'm just gonna surprise you one morning I'm just I'm just gonna surprise you one morning set it up uh, let's do you know because you know what I have no idea once you open up the box who knows what's gonna happen so yeah uh, not gonna do that this time okay let's see here uh, so maybe like tomorrow morning so I'm gonna be showcasing uh, the friends at Normcore okay Normcore is the, the uh, they're like up-and-coming coffee gear company Hold on. so they make like a uh, bottomless portal filter also they make this uh, calibrate temper as well they do like a uh, scale too so uh, so let's talk about this company next couple of days okay so let's showcase that because uh, this company the price is very competitive it's not too cheap it's not too expensive right on the between so I was really curious about this company so they are nice enough to you know send me some care package there so yeah it's gonna be fun to you know check out the other gears from other companies let's see here uh, I'm looking at your questions of uh, Melbourne okay hold on we got the E61 okay with the neater valve okay okay here we got the uh, we who say okay do you know anything about Oracle espresso by Bravo okay okay so Oracle machine is uh they are kind of like high-end machine the Oracle uses a 58 millimeter port filter they're almost automatic okay they're a fantastic coffee machine but so I feel like there is a you know someone likes like Bravo machine okay the Bravo machine is very user friendly I mean it, it, it doesn't need a lot of effort to make good coffee that, that's for sure okay it does not need a lot of effort to make coffee but once you go get into like high-end machine like as you guys are discussing right now uh, ECM, Rockets, or Little Lat, even Bazaar, all those, those motions you have to put some work into it you have to warm it up properly like 30 minutes minimum 30 minutes okay you have to warm it up properly you know so you have to get a, a decent grinder as well you don't want to use some cheap uh, you know cheap grinder using on your you know three thousand dollar coffee machine so yeah that's you gotta have some work you have to put some work into it okay so so that's become a hobby okay so it's all depend on how is that coffee is your hobby or you just if a coffee is your hobby yes make sure look into those kind of machines but if you want to just make some good coffee in the morning just stick with your Bravo machine okay or whatever you have even even you have like Delonghi or if you have like Gaza Classic Pro there's also a good one as well even eventually a Serbia that's a pretty good machine so yeah I mean you don't have to spend a lot of money to make good coffee let's see here we got the uh, Hans mentioned about the VBM Dunbar okay let's see, we got the uh, okay and then hold on a second we got the uh, Enders mentioned about the uh, about a electric uh, without lock okay well, without look will be under the counter okay interesting okay so are you are you still doing BS870 okay I'm not sure what okay hold on are you still going to stick with BS70 with a good grinder every day use oh, okay oh okay so here's the thing about the Bravo Brista Express I mean if you are entry level okay this is great for many many years if you, you just want to make a coffee in the morning and uh, make some like latte drinks in the morning they are fantastic but if you want to kind of spend some time on you know recipes and you know what I, it's all up to your budget 
comes down to how much money you want to spend on it and also how much time you want to spend on making coffee every single morning. So that's the thing, okay? If you have, if you have time and money, yes, I mean, this is really fantastic hobby, but I mean, if you don't, man, I don't know, that's something you have to decide. I right, saw so LR Kure joining us from UK. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna big shout out to uh, this young lady won the Wimbledon, well, not the U is that Wimbledon? No, US Open, something like that. So won the, yeah, yeah. I think that's the first time in a long time. So yeah, big shout out to them. All right, let's see here. We got, uh, is the Niche or DF64 going to, okay, so Niche or DF64 go with your next coffee machine? Yeah, answer is yes. So DF64 and Niche, I mean, they're pretty good grinder, okay? I don't wanna say they're really high-end grinder, but they're a good grinder to match any kind of coffee machine. So uh, you could spend, okay, so we got the Niche, it's right on the between. What's next? We got the Eureka, like Atom 75, that's pretty nice. The 65 is nice as well. And then what else? We got the, you got the Optionals out there, we got Weber's out there. There are a lot of great coffee grinders, but you are looking at $1,500 and up. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Niche and DF64 should be fine. So, I mean, that's why we are going to try that as well. Okay, let's see. I think we are... Uh, Richard asked you, do you like any French coffee? Okay, any French coffee. I, I don't think I have tried French coffee yet. Okay, I don't know what French coffee is because your coffee beans from different origins, but I don't, is, is that France makes, they grow their own coffee, I'm not sure. Okay, we've got the Lawrence mentioned about the R50A PID, yep. Program turn on automatically, yes, yes it does. Okay, so let's, I think we are pretty good this morning. Okay, hold on a second, we got the Christina mentioned about the how many turns on the steam now needs to, okay. Steam on the apartment. Okay, so apartment steaming power is pretty impressive. So whenever I do it, I just go a couple of turns and go all the way and I steam it. Uh, they're really, really fast. Okay. And the LL Kure, he's on the tea break. Not a coffee break, huh? just the tea. Okay, I think. All right, so living in France. Okay, Richard's living in France and, okay, they have roasters. You got Justin T, French roast. Okay, you know what, I don't know what French, uh, whenever you go to grocery store, you see that French roast there. I don't know who come up with that name, but that is really, really dark roast, okay? Yeah. Let's see here, I, okay. Uh, we have some, uh, okay, we have, I think we have a look, uh, fellow Korean viewers. You say, 안녕하세요. Yep. I think we, you know, we have friends from all over the, all over the world now, okay? This is great. Uh, make, again, make sure to press like on the video. All right. Uh, we have, so anyway, we, we're gonna have some fun this week. Uh, we're gonna check out the Normcore uh, coffee gear tomorrow. And then we're gonna do some uh, afternoon session as well. Uh, it's been a little busy, okay, afternoon. So yeah, we, uh, let's, uh, let's start doing some afternoon session at the, my shop there. Let's see here. Okay, Marshall mentioned, but I, uh, I like dark roast espresso. Don't know why people go for sour tasting light roast, okay? Marshall likes uh, dark. Because uh, so, uh, I don't know about sour Marshall is more like acidic, more bright uh, tasting notes. Yeah. All right. I think we are, let's hear dark roast can be super sweet. Okay. Okay. So we are talking about, uh, so once you reach certain points, you're not looking for just a good tasting coffee anymore. You guys are trying to get the best out of your coffee. Okay. So this is not the machine to do it, unfortunately. Bravo Brista Express is not machine to pull the absolute best out of coffee. I mean, that's for sure. But once you go to like high-end machine, not, not only you have really precise temperature, and also you can uh, change it like, you know, kind of like uh, pressure profiling, 
They got all kinds of stuff to squeeze out the best, okay? But again, how much time you, you guys want to spend on it? I mean, I do spend a lot of time on coffee every single day, so you know, I don't mind doing it, but you know, how many of you out there, you have more than half an hour to make coffee? I don't know about you, but you know, only thing, you know, last thing you want to do is uh, dialing in your coffee. You guys want to put the coffee beans in, just make a quick coffee and go out the door, so yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know about, but again, it does, it does take time. Okay, so if you are just joining us right now, okay, so we did a pour earlier. Uh, you guys want to see the rocket versus other coffee machine? So far, uh, most of you inclined to see other coffee machine, okay, other dual boiler. So, so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do coming week, okay? Because that was a little surprising though, okay? So, so let's see. Uh, you got the Rob. Uh, Rob just got a Bianca. Loving it. You know, I know a lot of friends have little like Bianca. So far, they're really impressed with the Bianca, okay? Because Bianca does everything. Uh, dual boiler, rotary pump, PID, and also uh, uh, pressure profiling as well, okay? And what, what else it can do? Uh, comes with a uh, spouted and bottomless polar filter, and also wooden knob. I mean, they give you, uh, comes to the bank uh, for the money, Lilla Bianca is up there, okay? They're a pretty good machine. Okay, so I got Marcos mentioned about the uh, Lillet Murray X. Murray, Murray X is also another fantastic heat exchange machine from Lillet. Yep. Okay. Let's see. So, Alec Curé, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks to joining us so far. Okay. I know he have to go back to work, it sounds like. Okay, so we have some friends from Germany as well. All right, so let's hear. What do you think about the whole Latte Love video? I know people ask me a lot about the So Mark from whole Latte Love, he uh, compare a uh, little Bianca with uh, what? Uh, like, what was it? Perfectech 600 or 700? Okay, he compared two machines. So, I mean, it, it, is somewhat, it is somewhat biased, okay? Because I know whole Latte Love does not carry the little brand. So, I mean, but I mean, if, if everything's set aside, okay, it doesn't matter if you're biased or not, but if it comes on the beer quality, okay, we are talking about the beer quality. Uh, I mean, he does have some point, but again, uh, I mean, once you spend that kind of money, doesn't matter if you buy Lillette or, I mean, Perfect Tag or ECM, what else, even Buzera, they're all great machines. Okay, so these are all great machines. So you're not going to be disappointed with any of the machines out there. So, yes, I thought it's a little biased, but you know what? I mean, you know, that's what they have to do. Okay, that's what they have to do. But, I mean, you won't be disappointed with any of the machines, okay, once you go that level. Because everybody, I mean, they do a really great job. So, okay, so Anders mentioned about the spring level machine. What, okay, what do I have alternative if I want to buy? Okay, spring level machine. I, I know Bozera makes one, and the uh, Lapaboni makes one as well. Uh, even La Marzacco makes spring level machine too. They got quite a few. They're also interesting machine. So, because I don't know much about it though. Okay, uh, Marvin mentioned about the Lodium, also make the spring level. Yep. All right, I think, I think we are pretty good, guys. Uh, let's see. It's a, can you recommend any coffee, any good coffee from Europe? Okay, so if anybody from Europe right now, uh, Richard needs some recommendation, so give to him. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see, copy. And also make sure uh, if you are done with it, let's see here, just make sure, uh, you know, if you're in the Europe, just make sure or uh, let them know, okay? Just let on the, put the comment section, you know, I think uh, Richard looking for some good coffee in Europe. So let's see. Uh, anyway, we are pretty good. So I hope you guys are having a great Monday morning. And then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Hold on a second. We have... Uh,
Do you end up liking the 53 point? Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got Damien. Yeah, Damien liked the 53.5 millimeter temper from Amazon. Okay, let me show you what uh, Damien is talking about. Okay, so at friends at Barry Brista sent us this temper. Okay. So this is a 53.5 millimeter. So this is it. Okay, so this is 53.5 millimeter. Do I like this? I mean, so. I'm going to showcase a couple of different tempers in the next couple of days. I've got the Normcore is a precision temper as well, and also this one. It's the only handful of a company that makes this. Uh, Price-wise, very competitive. Okay, so this is only about, what, 30 bucks or so? 30, 35 bucks. Compared to San Antonio industry, so th this is about $80. Okay. But the waist design is different too. So maybe we, you know, we, uh, maybe we should talk about the coming week, okay, next few days. I'm going to show you guys what's the difference between San Anthony versus the Amazon brand, okay? Because, yeah, uh, so it'd be, it'd be fun to compare. So let's do that. All right, I think we got uh, just order the Duomo 8, okay? We got Mark, is that, who, who's that? We have, uh, yeah, we have somebody. I can't even pronounce that name, but yeah. The Duomo 8 is a, another fantastic distribution tool from Korea as well. So. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. You're gonna, you're gonna love it, okay? Okay. Okay, so 1,000 bucks, we have what? The F64 and Bravo Booster Pro, that's a good match, okay? Oh, uh, Michael, okay, it's Michael, great. So Michael's getting the Duomo 8. Man, that's, that's nice, okay? That's something I don't mind, getting one of those for my coffee bar, but man all right hold on a second we got uh i'm gonna take one last question there you say hun can you recommend a precision distribution tools my 58 millimeter okay okay it's so a precision tools uh you know what uh, let's talk about the next couple of days okay because there's a because i'd like to give you four options for you and I, obviously you know san antonio industry is really good if you want to go cheaper route, we have uh, this one from Amazon, and also we got the Normcore. I'm planning on showing in the next few days as well. So yeah, so you you got some few options, but you know, do not rush in to go get one, okay? Because you ended up collecting a lot of tools. So hopefully, I'm I'm gonna show you enough. Okay. All right, I think. Okay, I think we are good. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning, and I'm gonna see you guys next uh, tomorrow morning or maybe even this afternoon.